So lots of people that I know are off on exotic holidays at the moment, and I am as well. Welcome to Birmingham. So I am here, rather surprisingly, for the Photography and Video Show 2024, and not, as you might previously have suspected, the concrete show. Although that does actually sound quite fun. This looks like one of those World War II uh, German railway cannons. Yeah, yeah, some wildlife only. Yeah, yeah. And next going for Yes, so as you can probably tell, I ran out of steam somewhat towards the end of that show and uh, stopped filming quite as much. Mostly I was just trying to film things that I personally find interesting anyway, and uh, after three days you've kind of found all of those things. My personal sort of high point for the show, in terms of camera equipment at least, was playing with the Canon C70, a camera for which I have absolutely no use. And unfortunately it wasn't ridiculously cheap and thus very enticing to an ill-advised impulse purchase. 
But buying cameras tends to be one of the better reasons to go to these sorts of trade shows. The manufacturers want to entice people onto their platform where they can then make more money off of accessories and lenses and things like that. So the camera bodies themselves were very, very heavily discounted, but the lenses were not. And as I don't need an additional camera body, there wasn't really anything quite enticing to me. My award, if there was such a thing for best trade stand of the show, would go to Canon. I mean, they are an enormous company, so they have a lot of money to spend on these things, but it's the little things that make it kind of more entertaining. And although one part of their stand was dedicated to an arrangement of lemons, which I must admit, I don't quite understand. Another part of it for the cinema cameras was dedicated to a scale electric setup with 1993 Williams F1 cars sponsored by Canon. That was very cool. It was a very innovative way of uh, letting people use moving subjects in quite a confined space in order to test autofocus and things like that. Really liked seeing that. That was quite fun. But yeah, aside from that, I met some nice people and generally had a good time. And I can recommend going to these sorts of shows if there's one near you. I wouldn't recommend going absolutely miles away or say flying to Birmingham from abroad just to go to such a thing uh, unless you are yourself a trader I guess but they can be very enjoyable and you can get some good discounts if you're already in the market for something but personally all I ended up buying was a couple of UV filters and a couple of rolls of film which isn't very exciting thanks for watching sorry it's a short one this week I'll see you next time <laughs>